So, here we are back in Halo 5. It's been a while since I booted this up. I'm actually going to look at the new map that was just released today as part of the Anvil's Legacy, which was Mercy. And uh, that's interesting because we've completed the Prophet Trifecta with this map, and it's supposed to be a remake of Haven, which was in Halo 4. Now, some people, of course, uh, may or may not have... Uh, good memories of this map. I mean, I believe it was one of the more iconic ones of Halo 4, and I, I enjoyed playing it. It was actually pretty good, in, in my opinion, with SWAT. Uh, not so much with the team games, but objective games actually played fairly well, in my opinion, too. It was also my uh, best game of oddball, I think, was uh, was in that mo was on that map. So I, I want to take a look here and see how this goes. Slayer. So, already it's a little recognizable, like the Halo 2 Battle Rifle. And the Saw. I don't think, uh, very rarely, I mean, I haven't played in a while, so I don't know. If there are any maps that actually spawn with the Saw uh, as a power weapon. Probably isn't, I'm just not aware of it. Already, I'm noticing the map is very, very aesthetically pleasing. Look at all the birds that are flying over there. It looks like a, a Sangheili village of some sort. Like, uh, the Sangheili, of course, uh, we're a very honor-based society, and it's a heavy class-based society, so this is probably like a temple, and the serfs are living all around it. Oh, that's awesome. Look at the fire. The the, the amount of, like, like, light and shadows that are being played around with here. Um, not casting a shadow, though, but that's okay, too. I also like the, the hexagons that make it look like... Uh, like cubert blocks that kind of messes with your vision here. I haven't gone on this before, so this is all completely new to me. Of course, there are plasma rifles. Funny enough, it's a brute plasma rifle. And there we go. There's our gravity lift. I'll take uh, take us up there. Look at this. Look at this. It's nice stonework. But in contrast to the other uh, Sangheili maps that are, of course, ruins, this seems pristine. Like, you would think that a temple would be well kept and would be well taken care of. Look at this is where the hammer spawns. It's very nice. I, I really, really like that fountain. Like, uh, the water is just running all around the Sangheili's head there. So, let's see. Actually, that's going to be more of the same. Let's go down the center. Check it out. Now, this probably would still work. Yep, I can still get up this way. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it actually messes with your vision there if you stand underneath it. That's a That's a nice touch. I think so. And they're making this look very nice too. Like there's interactivity. I saw this in the um, with the, uh, the the trailers. It, the, what they're what they're really doing, which I think is really nice, is making it interactive or uh, in the, not interactive, but making it look like everything has a purpose and everything has a function. That's what I think is really cool. And there's this little pool down here. It, it looks good. It's like a little little meditation pool. You can just sit there, and I like the the technology there that's contrasting with the with the stonework. It, actually, this map is artistically beautiful, and it, it fits so wonderfully. Like it's part of a palace and part of a it, it just part of a, it's actually daylight. I actually thought it was nighttime on this map, so we're actually in a cavern. It's daylight, and wow, that's actually really really cool. And the giant Sangheili hands that are really cool because they're made of metal. Like, you can actually see. I thought those were carved stone, but it looks like it's metal work. And, uh... Okay, hang on a second. You wonder, yeah, there's water that's coming out of a teleporter. That's cool. I I'm down with that. Take a look at the rest of this. Pretty cool. What's that meant to be? Like, there's actually traffic over there or something like that? Okay. Yeah, actually, I actually just really want to look at this here. I actually just want to look at this map. It just looks so good. There's actually a lot of work that was put into this. The carvings, the textures, and all that. Now, I, like, and there, there are of course a lot of people that say, "Well, why wasn't this in the uh, in the here from the beginning?" And I can argue, yeah, but stuff like this shows that they can make a, a remake of a map. And it just looks beautiful. It just looks so pleasing to look at. It just looks looks good. Look at this. This is like a palace. It, it invokes the, the thought of a palace, in my opinion. 
Like, this is a site of major religious reverence for the Sangheili. And they went out of their way to really make it look like it. That's really cool. Really, really cool. Let's pick this up. I can actually see myself enjoying a lot of games on here. I mean, I'm probably going to get my butt kicked because I haven't been playing a whole lot lately. Uh, but it just it just goes to show that that there is like a lot of magic for these games. Like the people who put this map together did a really good job in my opinion. Running water down here. So actually that's the, the map I wanted to see. The other one's Warzone, but I actually wanted to jump into Forge and see if they managed to put the um, the wreck weapons in there. That'd be pretty good because uh, if uh, you were watching the previews, or if you've been familiar with what these uh, were going to obtain, uh, uh, contain in terms of their content with Anvil's Legacy, it's that f uh, they're going to be including the new weapons, and that's what I'm really looking uh, looking for. In my opinion, is to let's see, uh, forge. Here we go, build, and I can look for that. Of course, there is the. Uh, that's good. That's really good, and I can choose what I want, prefab, stuff like that, maps, modes. This should have been here from the beginning, but I challenge you to find a game with, on a console with just as much buildability, with just as much playability and variety that has a content browser. There aren't very many, in my opinion. So let's just go to do somewhere like nondescript and all. Let's go, uh, I don't really care, but let's just pick Alpine, just for the sake of the argument here. And I want to see if they've included it because I have my my dreams of doing an ODST style map where everyone gets to suppress weapons, and uh, it'll uh, it'll make the maps very interesting in my opinion, where you can truly play Splinter Cell style with your your suppressed weaponry. Like everyone's suppressed, everyone has suppressed weapons. So you'll need to look very hard to actually find anybody. Oh, if we want to go one step further, give everyone active camouflage. <laughs> I suddenly like this all of a sudden. I like it. I think I'm going to work on that. All right, so they've added a whole bunch of new blocks as well, as well as doing stuff like uh, vehicle welding. Now, I'm not too familiar with that or I, I'm not too, uh, too learned in that area of modification. But people have been uh, doing stuff already. Like they have the, um, uh, the people were able to do like phantoms and uh, from banshees where you can fly those around. No doubt people are going to be doing pelicans uh, made out of, um, oh, there's prefabs. Oh, and I can choose my prefabs. That's cool. That's really cool. So, yeah, no doubt people are going to come up with some interesting sort of things. I can't wait for someone to make the first, like, a mammoth, yeah, you know, from the campaign of Hill 4. So, let's see. We want gameplay. I want weapons. And we want uh, weapon pads. I want USC. Uh, magnums, gunfire, tactical. Yes. Yes. Excellent. So they did put them in, which is fantastic. Let's put down the gunfighter magnum as well. So that's like the bare bones one. Actually, it looks like a pretty pretty slender sort of weapon in my opinion. I like it. So we do that, and we're going to put down SMG with a suppressor, with a silencer. They say it's a, su a silencer, but it's a suppressor. It really is. And recon sights. I'm wondering why you can't like you can't do that. I mean, they obviously didn't put everything there. Uh, silencer, stabilization jets. Do they have uh, sound suppressor? Is that what it is? I just put silencer on there. But honestly, like this sort of thing is just proven that we can that we can go about making things a whole lot more interesting. In terms of our gameplay types, so let's just spawn ourselves in there. Take a look at that. We obviously have the battle rifle, which is suppressed. But let's take a look at these. Actually, I've never had the whispered truth before, so pick that up. Check that out. That's pretty cool. First, uh, three round machine pistol, two toned. And I, I, I honestly like it as well without the uh, without the scope on the top. I mean, it looks like it's a handgun. 
Looks like a pretty cool handgun at that. Alright, pick up the gunfighter magnum as well. Let's take a look at that. Looks pretty cool. See, it looks like a... It legitimately looks like a cool weapon. It looks like a, a believable weapon. Uh, not out of the ordinary. It, it, it's, a, it's a badass gun. And this is the gun that it's completely iron sights. So, same magazine uh, size. They even have like a special icon up there for it. Fast reload speed. I think a faster rate of fire as well. I actually want to check that out. Uh, did I just drop it? Oh, well, never mind. And we're going to pick up the tactical magnum. And this has an actual scope on it. Like in ODST. Whisper quiet. Nice. And uh, where did I put that SMG? So yeah, we, we're, we're going to have our ODST game types for sure now. A lot of, a lot of people still give 343 grief, but I think... I think they're doing a pretty bang-up job right now. I think it's actually pretty cool what they're doing. That they're still putting out free content. They were under no obligation to do that after after June, which was what they originally had in mind. But still, they keep on releasing stuff, and they still they keep on putting out content. And I will still continue to play. It's because that's a sign of a good company. It, it really is. That's all I really wanted to look at right now. Damn, this thing looks awesome. I can't wait to work something with it. Can't wait to, to work something with all the new blocks and all that that are in here. So, uh, again, that's it's going to be something that's going to be keeping me busy. I'm trying to install Forge right now on my computer. And uh, no uh, no doubt it's going to take like a couple days to do so. Oh, I've also heard that, that you can also attach textures now to uh, like structures. Let's see if I can do that. Let's do like an accent and do a panel uh, or wall, like a wall accent. Let's try to take a look at this. No, I want to get back up here. Let's see. Object properties. Colors. Tertiary. Uh, I thought there was a texture thing you can add to it. General game mode batteries. So maybe it still might be on um, on primitives. For certain primitives, uh, you can obviously you can obviously do. You can obviously pull that up, bring those up there, and uh, gee, what is that? Four job? No, four jobs. I want object properties. Yeah, and you can obviously do that, which is still pretty cool. I've seen people do do incredible things with all of this. So. Uh, that's all I pretty much wanted to look at, and uh, well, I guess thanks for for sticking with me here, checking out all the these little things, the little things that I think make uh, this uh, game still worth playing, in my opinion. I'll I'll keep on playing it. Honestly, I'm not playing a whole lot of video games right now, but whenever I get back into it, I'm definitely going to play this just a little bit more, if only to play on the new map and and a uh, Warzone uh, Firefight Assault or uh, Warzone Assault. So we'll check it out. Thanks for sticking around. Bye-bye.